Are you experiencing vehement, arguing, sharp disagreement, whatever it is your version has to say with anyone? And are they now your enemies? Well, I've got news. Jesus gives us a path forward. Here's what it says. Love your enemies. You see, this is why Paul, the apostle to the Gentile church, could say in 2 Corinthians 10, he says, we are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons. I don't take arms up against other people. To knock down the strongholds, that's what we do. To knock down the strongholds of human reasoning, in other words, everybody else's best ideas, and we destroy false arguments that set themselves up against God. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God, because that's what I want for you. It's what I want for that person and the very next person that I meet. I want them to know God like I know God, because if they could know God as I know God, then their life would be changed, transformed, restored, healed in Jesus' name, just like mine is as well. That's what I want. And it says we capture their rebellious thoughts and our own, and we teach them to obey Christ. Paul literally spent his entire ministry, decades of his life, traveling and teaching loving people with the truth of God's word. How is this kind of patience even possible? Well, it's not possible with me and by myself, but that's why God gives us his Holy Spirit so that I can have a patience and an ability that is way beyond anything that I bring to the table. And that's what he was tapping into. And I'll tell you what, when you can love somebody and you can ask God for the strength and the ability to love them even past what we're able to do, you and I are literally able to disarm the enemy of our souls, Satan, Lucifer himself, and all of the strategies of his kingdom that he is bringing down on our world, our nation, and God's church. You and I are able to disarm the enemy when you will, I will choose to love God people as we would love ourselves. That's how it works. When we choose to show deference to them, that's how we disarm the enemy of our souls. And the reason that those scripts are predictable is because so many people predictably won't look to God and they won't allow the script to be flipped. But let me tell you, the script can be flipped as a nation and it can be flipped in you it could be flipped in your family, your influence. It could be flipped if you and I will simply walk as Jesus walked. Love even those who are seen as our enemy and have faith that even they could change because that's what they exhibited. They had the argument because they had faith that God would break through their hearts and that they could see God. And they had faith that God would show them a way forward as well. That's how it's done. Instead of doing what most people are doing right now, which is taking up offense. And man, is this one easy because I've been offended left and right pretty much every day of COVID and so have you. It comes from the news, it comes from people around us, it comes through email, text messages, and real live conversations. Oh yeah, there's a lot of offenses out there. And I think many of us, we, we all have the ability to go pro in, in uh, taking on offenses. But what God wants us to go pro in is learning how to lay those offenses down and to be able to hear his heart and to be guided by his voice, regardless of what the other person does. 